हेलो फ्रेंड्स देश शिराज वेलकम टू अवर चैनल रनिंग कंपनी डॉट इन इट्स ऑल अबाउट रनिंग टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज नेजल ब्रीदिंग वेन इट कम्स टू रनिंग एंड एक्सरसाइज वी गिव प्रायोरिटी टू अवर स्केड्यूल वी प्लान अवर डेली रेजिम वी नो वॉट टाइप ऑफ रन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे एट वॉट इंटेंसिटी एट वॉट हार्ट रेट we look into the smallest details of buying the shoes what type of socks you should be buying and what type of gadget you should be wearing to help you increase your performance we forget that the most important aspect of running is breathing there is a reason why nose is sitting right at the center of your face when you breathe through nose the air passes through four stages of filtration but when you breathe through mouth you directly go to the fourth stage by passing all three stages like many beginners when i started my running post my bone marrow transplant i too used to breathe from the mouth very soon i realized that while i was doing that i was falling sick very often i would get lot of throat infection upper respiratory tract infection even the lower respiratory tract infection there was increased need to take antibiotics to recover i was on a very long term course of antihistamine that would give me severe cramps while i was running and i realized there was something wrong that needed to be changed that answer i found in the nasal breathing nasal breathing is nothing but inhaling and exhaling through the nose without using the mouth and what was the result that i could continue my training for a longer duration of time and without falling sick that means i could see the increased benefits of performance i would recover faster because there was minimal medication that i was using there were no antibiotic almost for many months and that was the first time i realized that nasal breathing is very important the other benefit of nasal breathing was that it helped me to pace correctly there was no need even to look at the watch and as soon as i was crossing my threshold there was a need to open the mouth and i would realize that my heart rate was about 90% of my max capacity so it was a very good denoter for me to keep my mouth closed while i was running so that i know that i am at my targeted pace initially when i started practicing the nasal breathing i found it really tough i had to really slow down my pace so that i can do nasal breathing otherwise there was always need to breathe through the mouth the other most important benefit of nasal breathing that i discovered was the heart rate reduced by 10% what was the outcome i was able to sustain higher pace at the lower heart rate i became more economical and the runs were effortless through nasal breathing you can harness the benefit of nitric oxide nasal breathing will help you to decongest your nose and open up the airways it will also help you to enter into the state of calmness that is what is required to improve your focus while you are running so there are tremendous benefit of nasal breathing i have just mentioned few but let us also understand what are the side effects of mouth breathing if you see as a baby is born it will only breathe through the nose that's a innate ability we lose that ability over a period of time and we start mouth breathing not only while we exercise but we mouth breathe throughout the day we continue that even while we are asleep when you breathe through mouth you over breathe you breathe too much moreover you cannot harness the benefit of nitric oxide nitric oxide helps in vasodilation it also enhances the oxygen taken up in the blood it is found people who snore are the mouth breathers snoring reduces the sleep quality it will disrupt the sleep you wake up lethargic you wake up tired you wake up feeling fatigue moreover you will see that you lack energy throughout the day it will also impact your running and the running performance mouth breathing will have a negative impact on your immune system let us learn the technique of nasal breathing right way to do that is breathe in through the nose for 5 counts and exhale through the nose gently for 5 counts 
what you have to remember is breathe right into the belly and exhale very gently without sighing without making sound once you are comfortable with nasal breathing in the static position you can incorporate in your walk the last thing would be to incorporate the nasal breathing during your runs remember to incorporate nasal breathing only during your slow run as the pace increases you might feel there is a need to open the mouth to breathe my best advice would be let your breath be your guide to decide your pace hope you've liked the video do leave your comment and suggestion under the comment section below until then this shiraz signing off from runningcompany.in it's all about running